All right, so here's the bus that we'll be staying in. Make sure you wave and say hi. Hello. We're going to be staying inside this bus for the next few days. So we're going to take you for a little tour here. Oh, modern air conditioning. Oh. This is where we'll be staying for the next few days. Let me close this door. <clears throat> and uh, the bed is kind of small, but uh, it's got a it's got a toilet <laughs> and a dresser and a, and a heater. But yeah, so and. Uh, <laughs> So, if you planned on living in the apocalypse in one of these things, then uh, it's going to be interesting. This is the most important part right here. Oh, that's the most important part right there, guys. Be cooking some supper on this tonight. I think that's going to be about it. We're going to go hiking in the next few days. All right. <clears throat> now you guys know. What if you had to live in this? We just spent the rest of the night kind of hanging out around the fire talking about things getting ready for the next day and then of course got up in the morning and made some breakfast right there in the bus and then uh, as you guys know I believe in thriving not just surviving as promised going hiking Tinker's Cliff that's what it looks like there we go Obviously, I'll have to snip this video together because I'm not going to hold this camera up all day long so you can see what it looks like, but uh, now you know. We've reached the first of a few gates, I guess, and uh, no, they're not looking at you. Here, hold on. There you go. There, now wave. This might end up on the retired hiker as well, but uh, yeah, we got to walk. of the river into the valley and then it's going to be uphill from there and everybody will start crying like babies. Maybe even me. What are these yellow flowers? You know the name. Well, the purple flowers. Yeah, they put that there so the cattle don't get out. Nice. Pretty nice. There's your cattle gate. Cattle gate. Say cattle gate ten times fast. Alright. And there it is. That's where we're going. Hello, my fellow preppers. What are you doing in the month of October? Well, me, I'm going to be in Nebo, North Carolina, October 12th through the 13th. Going to be prep stock. Going to be doing a little bit of speaking. Going to be doing a little bit of learning. We have got an unbelievable lineup for people that want to find out what preparedness is all about. And how do we do that? It's pretty simple. We just invite some doctors, maybe a couple lawyers, maybe a couple guys that wear little shiny things like badges on their chest to teach us all about stuff. We're even going to get a little bit of kung fu going on there. And uh, yeah, that's the kind of place I'm at right now. It's pretty cool, huh? Anyway, we're going to be getting all sorts of people coming in. And we've got lots of giveaways, lots of prizes for people who just show up. So if you don't have your tickets yet, 
guys, I recommend that you go to prepstock.net, get your tickets, find out what this is all about, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in Nebo. Stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Back to the program. That's interesting. It's got a slab of rock over that all that's all rock. That's called eutrophic. Hmm. I didn't do nothing, so I don't know about you. I need my ram -a -lam. You have to get it. <laughs> you gotta get it. All right, there's a rescue trail. Rescue trail! And up we go some more. <sighs> I just can't get my phone out fast enough. Cobbles. Spider webs. I don't know, baby. The scale. You can't you guys can't even visualize the scale of this. They're not out of help. One step. That's the Appalachian There's Trail. Shelter, 0.6 miles. There's a shelter, 0.6 miles. There's a shelter, 0.6 miles. Yeah, there we go. And that's where we just came from. We're almost there. Huh? Oh, there's a little round one. That's cool. for a little while and enjoyed the view and each other's time and company and then we headed back down which was not as easy as we thought it would be but that'll be our story <laughs> 